أنا اسمي عمر رشاد المريض عبد الرزاق يكون حمايا كان عنده مشكلة إن في إنفكشن حصلت في رجله بسبب السكر وشاف كذا دكتور في الجزائر قالوا له إنه ما فيش حل لازم إنه نقطع رجلك فأنا طلبت منه إنه يبعث لي كل الريبورتس قعدت أدور طبعا على أحسن مستشفى تقدر تعالج موضوع الجرجرينا وموضوع السكر وصلت لمستشفى كينجز كوليدج عرفت إنه في دكتور اسمه دكتور كريشنا مادا هو أحسن واحد بما يخص أي حاجة ليها علاقة بالفوت أند أنكل بعت الريبورتس كلها للدكتور بعدين بعدها بيوم يومين كلمني الدكتور قال لي احنا ويل اكسبت ذا كيس لازم المريض يجي في اسرع وقت والحمد لله عشان بسبب الايميل الدكتور كريشنا كان بعته البروسيس كان كثير سهل بالنسبه لنا من من ساعه ما دخلنا المستشفى من ساعه ما دخلنا الامرجنسي لحد ما طلعنا الاوضه بتاعته الدكتور كريشنا قال ان احنا في احتمال ان احنا مش لازم نقطع رجله خش في البروسيس اللي احنا هننظف الانفكشن من غير ما نقطع حاجه واول يوم طبعا الدكتور بدا عمليه التنظيف والحمد لله ما بقاش في اي انفكشن في رجله ومش محتاجين ان هو نقطع رجله وكثير انبسطنا من من الريزلتس الحمد لله ان احنا كنا جايين على اساس ان رجله هتتقطع والحمد لله بعد فضل طبعا ربنا والدكتور كريشنا انه رجله مش هتحتاج تتقطع ان شاء الله اسبوع والاسبوعين ويبتدي يرجع يمشي ثاني زي يرجع لحياته الطبيعيه الحمد لله My name is Dr. KP Mehta I'm the consultant orthopedic foot and ankle surgeon I trained in UK for 25 years before coming to Dubai. Diabetic foot infections is a big complication of the diabetic patients. They tend to get infections and if it is not controlled well, they lose toes and they lose complete loss of uh, limb. It's important that we advise them and teach them well and treat them well. In King's College Hospital, we have a great team which is set up called King's Diabetic Foot Unit headed by myself, here, Dr. KP Mehta, and then I have a team of diabetologists a t- and a vascular surgeon and other internal medicine people. Along with that, we have special nurses who take care of the tissue viability to improve the wound care. We have a team coming out with orthotics and prosthetics to give the full shoe wear after the, after the treatment. We have a great team of physiotherapists who will mobilize the patient well. Abdul Razak is a diabetic chap who had an infected foot on the left side. He had multiple antibiotics and he lost a couple of toes before they contacted us. All the doctors in Algeria has expressed to him that the best way forward is to lose his leg. Abdul Razak doesn't want to lose his leg and he contacted us if we can save his leg. The treatment plan we have given to Abdul Razak was we assessed his diabetes, we assessed his vascular status from the vascular surgeon, given him medications and improvement for the vascularity. She is being taken to the theater for completely removal of the dead tissues in the foot, which took almost two to three hours. And then we did a second look operation to remove further dead tissue. After the main two operations, we have used a tissue viability, what is called a negative suction apparatus to improve his blood supply and take away all the rest of the dead tissue. We also used a new technique called hyperbaric oxygen chamber where he sleeps for an hour in the hyperbaric chamber with good oxygen concentration, which improves his oxygenation in the tissues. Within the next two to three weeks, his wound has improved so much, the granulations has come so much, he was ready for skin grafting. We have taken him to the theater again, grafted his skin from thigh, and the wound has healed within four weeks. We also changed the toe positions and given him a good plaster treatment, what is called total contact cast. Now he is ready to go into new shoes within the next 10 days. So he will be walking without any aid with good uh, surgical shoes for diabetes.